Hello everyone, welcome to our Windstroke webinar, day 3 of 9, brought to you by Lamp AccuWellness Foundation, Inc., as part of its continuing LAMP lecture series. Today we will talk about identification of patterns and treatment for attack of internal organs. The most important differentiation in Windstroke is between that which attacks the internal organs and channels and that which attacks only the channels. According to this distinction, there are two types of windstroke. Severe type, which attacks the internal organs and the channels. Mild type, which attacks only the channels. Windstroke from attack of internal organs and channels will have apoplexy, loss of consciousness, possibly coma, aphasia, paralysis, and numbness as clinical manifestations. The distinguishing signs of attack of the internal organs by wind are loss of consciousness, coma, and aphasia. Wind stroke from attack of channels alone will include unilateral paralysis, numbness, slurred speech as clinical manifestations. There is no loss of consciousness or coma. Following a severe type of wind to the internal organs, a person who survives will enter the sequelae stage when the clinical manifestations are the same as in a mild type resulting in unilateral paralysis or hemiplegia, numbness, and slurred speech. These manifestations may either arise independently from an attack of the channels alone, or they may be the sequelae of an attack of the internal organs. The severe type is further divided into the tense or closed type and the flaccid or open type according to the clinical manifestations. The mild type is further divided into an attack of the main channels characterized by hemiplegia and numbness and an attack of the connecting channels alone characterized only by numbness. Here is a table showing the differentiation of wind stroke. For the severe type, we have apoplexy, coma, aphasia, and hemiplegia. It's divided into two types. We have tense and flaccid. Then for the mild type, which involves only the channels, we have hemiplegia and numbness as manifestations, which is further subdivided into the main channels and the low connecting channels that are affected. Attack of the internal organs and channels by wind is characterized by apoplexy, loss of consciousness, possibly coma, aphasia, hemiplegia, and numbness. The loss of consciousness indicates attack of the internal organs. There are two types of pattern. One called tense or close, corresponding to collapse of yin, and the other called flaccid or open, corresponding to collapse of yang. Tense or close type corresponds to collapse of yin. Clinical manifestations, sudden collapse, loss of consciousness, coma, clenched teeth, closed fists, locked jaw, red face and ears, profuse sputum, rattling sound in the throat, coarse breathing, constipation, retention of urine. Tongue will have a red body, stiff, deviated, with a sticky yellow coating. Pulse is wiry, full, rapid, slippery. Flaxid or open type corresponds to collapse of yang. Clinical manifestations, sudden collapse, loss of consciousness, coma, hands and mouth open, eyes closed, pale face, oily sweat beads on the forehead, incontinence of stools and urine, and cold limbs. Tongue is pale and swollen, pulse minute, hidden, and scattered. The manifestations determining the two types are shown in the next slide. This is the table showing the differentiation of tense and flaccid types in attack of the internal organs. Wind stroke from attack of the internal organs, whether of the tense or flaccid type, always leaves sequelae if the patient survives. This consists primarily of hemiplegia, which is unilateral paralysis of the upper and or lower limbs, facial paralysis, deviation of eye and mouth, slurred speech, numbness of limbs. 
In prolonged cases, there will also be contraction and stiffness of the limbs due to malnourishment of channels. When only the channels are attacked, there is no loss of consciousness or coma, but only unilateral paralysis of the limbs and deviation of the eye and mouth. The clinical manifestations of attack of the channels alone are basically the same as those of the sequelae stage of attack of the internal organs. The clinical manifestations vary according to whether the main or LU connecting channels are attacked. Attack of main channels, clinical manifestations, facial paralysis, hemiplegia, numbness of limbs, limitation of movement, slurred speech. This is not always present. Attack of loo connecting channels only, clinical manifestations, unilateral numbness of the face and limbs, and slurred speech, which is not always present. Let's compare central facial paralysis from peripheral facial paralysis. Central facial paralysis is caused by a stroke of cerebrovascular accident in the brain, while peripheral facial paralysis results from affliction only of facial nerves, not deriving from the brain. Clinical manifestations. For central facial paralysis, there is no affliction of the nerves above the eyebrow. For peripheral facial paralysis, there is affliction of the nerves above the eyebrow. Always ask the patient to furrow the forehead. If they can, and furrows are equal all across the forehead, then that's central facial paralysis. If the furrows are unequal, they show on one side but not on the other, it's peripheral facial paralysis. Treatment for attack of internal organs. At this acute stage, it is imperative that Chinese medicine be combined with Western medical treatment in hospital. The three general principles of treatment are as follows. Relieve the spasm, induce resuscitation, and lower blood pressure. These are only the general aims of treatment. The more specific aims depend on the differentiation between the tense and flaxseed types. The acupuncture points that may be used for the above objectives are as follows. To relieve the spasm, we have PC6 and Spleen6 using reducing method. To induce resuscitation, we have DO26, LI4 using the reducing method. To lower the blood pressure, LI11, stomach 36, liver 3, kidney 3, reducing method except for kidney 3, which should be reinforced. Treatment should be given every 6 hours without retention of needles. Now, let's talk a little bit about the needling concepts. Reinforcing techniques are adapted to invigorate the body's resistance and boost under-functioning of the body. Needling techniques are generally slow, gentle, and of short duration. Reducing techniques are adapted to eliminate pathogens and suppress hyperfunctioning of the body. Needling techniques are generally rapid, forceful, and of long duration. Even techniques are adopted when there is no particular reason to use the above techniques. So let's tabulate the differences between the reinforcement and reduction techniques. After the needle is inserted into a given depth and needling sensation appears, reinforcement is obtained by thrusting the needle heavily and then lifting it gently. This is repeated in a slow and delicate manner from shallow to deep. For the reduction technique, reduction is obtained by thrusting the needle gently and then lifting it heavily. This is repeated in a quick manner from deep to shallow. Twirling and rotating. After needle is inserted into a given depth and needling sensation appears, reinforcement is obtained by twirling in small amplitude with a gentle and slow pace and only for a short duration. For reduction, 
you twirl in large amplitude with a fast, heavy, and quick pace. Manipulation should be of long duration. Insertion and withdrawing. For reinforcement, you have to insert slowly, twirl the needle slightly, then withdraw it quickly. Reduction. Insert quickly, twirl the needle vigorously, then withdraw it slowly. Keeping the hold open or close. For reinforcement, press the hold after the needle is withdrawn. Reduction. Shake and enlarge the hold while withdrawing the needle. Means of respiration. For reinforcement, insert the needle when the patient breathes out and withdraw the needle when the patient breathes in. Reduction. Insert the needle when the patient breathes in and withdraw the needle when the patient breathes out. The purpose of retaining the needles to enhance stimulation or to facilitate further manipulation. For mild cases, needles can be removed directly after getting the needling sensation or retained for 10 to 20 minutes. In chronic cases, needles are retained for a longer time and during the period, physicians may further apply reinforcing or reducing techniques for one to three times. In complex cases like abdominal colic, convulsion, stubborn painful conditions, stiff joints, it is necessary to retain the needles for hours so that several manipulations can be applied for enhancement. It is not suitable to retain needles in elderly children and very sick patients. Now let's try to familiarize ourselves with the points. To relieve the spasm, we have pericardium 6 and spleen 6. Pericardium 6, nei guan, or inner gate is located on the palmar aspect of the forearm, too soon above the transverse crease of the wrist, on the line connecting pericardium 3 and pericardium 7 between the tendons of palmaris longus and flexor carpi radialis. Pericardium 6 is loop connecting point of the pericardium channel. Loop connecting points can communicate with two meridians. They treat diseases of the collaterals and can be used to treat chronic diseases. Clinically, loop connecting points are often combined with Yuan source points in the treatment of diseases. Needling is perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon. Functions, opens the chest, regulates heart chi, calms the shen, harmonizes the stomach, relieves nausea and vomiting, and regulates the chi. Spleen 6, Sun Yin Jiao, or 3 Yin Intersection, is located on the middle aspect of the lower leg, 3 Tsun above the middle malleolus on the posterior border of the medial aspect of the tibia. It is the crossing point of the spleen, kidney, and liver channels. Because the point crosses the spleen, kidney, and liver channels, it can treat many conditions associated with all three organs. Needling is perpendicular insertion, 1 to 1.5 Tsun. Do not needle during pregnancy. Spleen 6 resolves dampness, harmonizes the liver, strengthens the kidneys, nourishes blood and yin, cools and invigorates the blood, benefits urination, calms the shen. To induce resuscitation, we use GV26 and LI4. GV26 or DU26 is Renzong, Filtrum, located on the face at the junction of the superior one-third and middle third of the philtrum. GV26 is crossing point on the two vessel with the large intestine and stomach channels. Function, it resuscitates. DU26 is used for emergency treatment. Needling, oblique insertion upwards 0.3 to 0.5 soon. LA4 is HECU or joining valley, located on the dorsum of the hand between the first and second metacarpal bones in the middle of the second metacarpal bone on the radial side. LI4 is Yuan source point of the large intestine channel and the command point of the head and face. Functions. Expels wind and releases the exterior, tonifies chi and strengthens immunity, regulates the face and head area. LI4 is useful for any condition related to the face and head. Clinically, Yuan source points are of great significance in treating diseases of the internal organs. Yuan source points are the sites where the Yuan Qi of the Zhangfu organs passes and stays. 
Puncturing the Yuan source point stimulates the vital energy of the regular meridians, regulates the functional activities of the internal organs, reinforces anti-pathogenic factors, and eliminates pathogenic factors. This method of treating diseases deals principally with the root causes. The Yuan source point from the affected meridian is often combined with the loop connecting point of the internally externally related meridians in use. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon. Do not needle during pregnancy. To lower the blood pressure, we use LI11, stomach 36, liver 3, and kidney 3. LI11 is kuchi or pull at the bend location with the elbow flexed. The point is on the lateral end of the transverse cubital crease at the midpoint between lung 5 and the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. LA11 is HC point of the large intestine channel. HC points are where the chi of the meridian collects and goes deep into the body. Functions, clears the heat, cools blood, resolves dampness, expels exterior wind, regulates chi and blood, activates meridian. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 1 to 1.5 soon. Stomach 36 is Susan Lee, leg 3 miles. Located on the anterior aspect of the lower leg, 3 tsun below stomach 35, 1 finger breadth from the anterior crest of the tibia. Stomach 36 is he see point of the stomach channel and command point of the abdomen, point of the sea of water and grain. Functions tonifies chi and blood, harmonizes and strengthens the spleen and stomach, strengthens the body and wei chi, raises yang, calms the shen, activates the meridian, stops the pain. Stomach 36 is known as one of the most important points to tonify chi and blood and promote general wellness. He see points are where the chi of the meridian collects and goes deep into the body. Hissy points are known to treat rebellious chi and diarrhea. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 1 to 2 tsun. Liver 3 is Tai Chung, Great Surge. Located on the dorsum of the foot in the depression proximal to the first metatarsal space. Liver 3 is Yuan source point of the liver meridian and Shu stream point of the liver meridian. Regulates liver chi, subdues liver yang, calms the shen, nourishes liver yin. Liver 3 is a very important and commonly used point. It is often coupled with LI4, known as the four gates, to effectively move chi and blood throughout the body. Shoe stream points are where the chi starts to pour down the meridian. They alleviate heaviness and pain in the joints. On yin meridians, shoe stream points are identical to the actions of yuan source points. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 0.8 soon. Kidney 3 is Taxi, Great Stream. Located on the medial aspect of the foot, posterior to the medial malleolus, in the depression between the tip of the medial malleolus and tendocalcaneus. Kidney 3 is Yuan source point of the kidney channel and shoe stream point of the kidney channel. Functions tonifies the kidney yin and yang. Kidney 3 is important to use for any kidney deficiency pattern. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon. For 10 style, treatment principle, induce resuscitation, relax spasm, clear heat, extinguish wind, resolve phlegm, open orifices. Do 26, do 20, do 16, GB20, six swell points of the hand bilaterally, kidney 1, PC7 or PC8, stomach 40, all with reducing method. Do 26. Renzong is the crossing point on the do vessel with the large intestine and stomach channels. Do 20 or Bei Wei, 100 meetings, located on the head, 5 tsun directly above the midpoint of the anterior hairline or at the midpoint of the line connecting the apices 
of the two auricles. Du 20 is the crossing point on the Du vessel with the six Yang meridians. It is also known as the Sea of Maro Point. Raises the Yang, treats prolapse, subdues Yang, clears the head, calms the Shen, dispels interior wind. Needling, subcutaneous insertion, 0.5 to 0.8 soon. Du 16 is Feng Fu, Wind Palace, located at the back of the neck, one soon directly above the midpoint of the posterior hairline, directly below the external occipital protuberance in the depression between trapezius of both sides. Crossing point of the two and young wave vessels, window of the sky point, sea of marrow point. Functions, dispels wind, calms the shen, clears the head, benefits the head and neck. Needling, perpendicular or oblique insertion downward, 0.5 to 1 soon, do not puncture deeply. Deeper is the medulla oblongata. Strict attention must be paid to the needle angle and depth. Gallbladder 20, Feng Chi, or wind pool, located on the nape below the occiput at the level of Du 16 in the depression between the upper portion of sternocleidomastoideus and muscle trapezius. Crossing point of the gallbladder meridian and the young wave vessel. Functions, dispels exterior and interior wind, clears the head, benefits the eyes, nose and ears, subdues liver yang, activates the meridian, relieves pain. Gallbladder 20 is an important point to treat any wind cold or wind heat pattern. Needling, oblique insertion 0.8 to 1.2 soon towards the tip of the nose with the tip of the needle slightly downwards or subcutaneous insertion through Du 16. Towards the middle in the deeper layer is the medulla oblongata. The angle and depth of the needle must be strictly controlled. There are six Jingwell points on the hand, just like the feet. And just like the feet, they are bilateral. So the left and right thumb have the long Jingwell point and so on. The Jingwell point for the small intestine is at the nail bed on the lateral side of the pinky. At the base of the nail bed of the pinky on the middle side is the heart Jingwell point. The lateral side of the ring finger at the nail bed is the Jingwell point of the triple heater. The tip of the middle finger is where the Jingwell point of the pericardium is. The middle side of the index finger at the nail bed is where the Jingwell point of the large intestine is. And the lungs Jingwell point is at the nail bed of the thumb. Small intestine 1. Shius or lesser marsh. Located on the ulnar side of the distal phalanx of the little finger. Point 1 soon distance from the corner of the nail. Small intestine 1 is jingwell point of the small intestine meridian. Functions, resuscitates, opens orifices, clears heat. SI1 is an empirical point for insufficient lactation. Jingwell points are where the chi bubbles up. Jingwell points are indicated to revive consciousness. Jingwell points are known to treat fullness below the heart and clear heat. Needling, subcutaneous insertion, point one soon or prick to bleed. Heart 9 is Shao Chang, or lesser rushing. Located on the radial side of the distal phalanx of the little finger, point one soon distance from the corner of the nail. Jingle point of the heart meridian. Resuscitates, calms the shen, clears heat, subdues wind. Needling, subcutaneous insertion, point one soon or prick to bleed. Sanja 1, Quan Chong or Passage Hub, is located on the ulnar side of the distal phalanx of the ring finger, point one soon distance from the nail. Jingwell point of the Sanjiao channel. Clears heat, dispels wind, benefits the throat, eyes and ears, resuscitates. Needling, superficial insertion, point one soon or prick to cause bleeding. Pericardium 9, Jung Chung or Central Hub, is located in the center of the tip of the distal phalanx of the middle finger. Jingwell point of the pericardium channel. Needling, superficial insertion, point one soon, or prick to cause bleeding. LI1, Sheng Yang, or Metal Yang. On the radial end of the distal phalanx of the index finger, point one soon, distance from the corner of the nail. LI1 is the jingwell point of the large intestine meridian. Functions, clears heat, revives consciousness, benefits the throat. Needling, shallow insertion, point one soon, 
or prick the point to bleed. Lung 11 or Shaoshang, lesser metal, located on the radial side of the thumb, 0.1 tune distance from the corner of the nail bed. Jingle point of the lung channel. Functions, expels exterior and interior wind, benefits the throat and clears heat, resuscitates. Needling, insert obliquely, 0.1 tune towards upper direction or prick the point to bleed. Kidney one is Yong Chuan, gushing spring. Located on the sole in the depression when the foot is in plantar flexion, approximately at the anterior third and the posterior two-thirds of the line from the web between the second and third toes to the back of the heel. Jingle point of the kidney channel. Functions. Descends excess above, resuscitates, clears heat, calms the shen, tonifies yin, clears empty heat. Kidney 1 is an excellent point to subdue excess liver yan, wind, and or fire. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon. Pericardium 7, Daling, Great Hill. Located in the middle of the transverse crease of the wrist between the tendons of muscle palmaris longus and mech muscle flexor carpi radialis. Yuanzer's point of the pericardium channel. Shoestream point of the pericardium channel. Needling perpendicular insertion 0.5 to 0.8 soon. Pericardium 8. Lao Kung or Labor Palace. Located in the center of the palm between the second and third metacarpal bones closer to the third metacarpal bone. When the fist is made, the point is where the tip of the middle finger touches. Ying spring point of the pericardium channel. Functions clears heart heat, calms the shen. Pericardium 8 is the best point to clear heart fire. Ying spring points are where the qi dribbles down the meridian. Ying spring points are indicated for heat in the body and changes in the complexion. Ying spring points are known to clear heat from the meridian. Needling perpendicular insertion 0.3 to 0.5 soon. Stomach 40 is Feng Long abundant bulge. On the anterior aspect of the lower leg, 8 soon superior to the external malleolus lateral to stomach 38. Two finger breadths from the anterior crest of the tibia. Stomach 40 is loo connecting point of the stomach channel. Transforms phlegm and dampness, calms the shen and clears phlegm from the heart, activates the meridian and stops pain. Stomach 40 is known as the phlegm point. It helps resolve phlegm throughout the body. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 1 to 1.5 soon. Let's review the uses of the points in tense type. Do 26 obliquely upwards, promotes resuscitation. Do 20 horizontally forwards. Do 16, gallbladder 20, extinguish internal wind. Six swell points of the hand, using bleeding method, extinguish wind and clear heat. Kidney 1 extinguishes wind, lowers blood pressure, relaxes spasm. PC7 or PC8 opens orifices and clears heat, and stomach 40 resolves phlegm. Other points, lakjo, stomach 6, stomach 7, LI4. Profuse sputum, REN22, stomach 40, with reducing method. Aphasia, REN23, heart 5. Stomach 6, Jia Chu, jaw bone. Located on the cheek, in the depression, one finger breadth using the middle finger, anterior and superior to the lower angle of the mandible where the masseter attaches at the prominence of the muscle when the teeth are clenched. Dispels wind, clears obstructions in the meridian, relieves pain, benefits the jaw and teeth. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.3 to 0.5 soon, or subcutaneous insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon, or insert towards stomach 4. Stomach 7, Xia Guan, below the joint, located on the face, anterior to the ear, in the depression between the zygomatic arch and the condyloid process of the mandible. Crossing point of the stomach and gallbladder channels. Clears obstructions in the meridian, benefits the ears, 
jaw, and teeth. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 1 soon. Alloy 4, Herku. Yuan source point of the large intestine channel, command point of the head and face. Ren 22, Tian 2, celestial prominence. Located on the anterior median line of the neck, in the center of the suprasternal fossa. Subdues rebellious lung chi, benefits the throat, resolves phlegm, stops cough. Needling, first puncture perpendicularly 0.2 soon, then insert the needle tip downwards along the posterior aspect of the sternum 1 to 1.5 soon. Strict attention must be paid to the needle angle and depth. The lungs can be easily injured. Stomach 40, loo connecting point of the stomach channel. Ren 23, Lian Chuan, corner spring, located on the anterior median line of the neck, above the throat prominence, in the depression above the upper border of the hyoid bone, crossing point of the Ren and the Yin Wei vessels. Subdues rebellious qi, benefits the tongue throat and speech, resolves phlegm, stops cough. Needling, oblique insertion towards tongue root, 0.5 to 0.8 soon. Heart 5, Tong Li, connecting interior. Located on the palmar aspect of the forearm, the point is on the radial side of the tendon flexor carpi ulnaris, one soon above the transverse crease of the wrist. Lu connecting point of the heart channel. Comes to Shen, benefits the tongue, regulates heartbeat. Heart 5 is a very good point to tonify heart chi. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 0.3 to 0.5 soon. For the flaxseed type, treatment principle, recapture young, induce resuscitation. Points used are REN6, REN4, REN8, stomach 36, spleen 6, PC6, do for bladder 23. Reinforcing method and strong moxibustion. REN6, Chi I, C of Chi. Located on the anterior median line of the lower abdomen, 1.5 soon below the umbilicus. Functions, strengthens kidney Chi and Yang, regulates Chi, benefits original Chi, treats prolapse. REN6, has the function to tonify as well as maintain health. Perpendicular insertion, 1 to 2 Tsun. REN4, Quan Yuan, Gate of Origin. Located on the anterior median line of the lower abdomen, 3 Tsun below the umbilicus. Front move point of the small intestine. Crossing point of the REN vessel and the 3 in meridians of the foot, spleen, liver, and kidney. Functions. Strengthens, nourishes the kidneys, qi, yin, and yang. Nourishes essence, benefits original qi, calms the shen, benefits menstruation and the uterus. REN4 has the function to tonify as well as maintain health. Front move points can be used to treat diseases of the affected Zhangfu organ and those of Yang meridians and collaterals. They treat diseases of six Fu organs and diseases of Yang meridians. An adverse reaction when the front move point is pressed can help make a diagnosis. Needling, perpendicular insertion, 1 to 2 Tsun. REN8, Shinka. Spirit Gateway, located in the middle of the abdomen, in the center of the umbilicus. Rescues Yang Collapse, resuscitates, warms Yang, regulates the intestines. Needling, indirect moxibustion with moxa stick or moxibustion on some type of material like salt, ginger. Stomach 36, hisi point of the stomach channel, command point of the abdomen, point of the sea of water and grain. Spleen 6, crossing point of the spleen, kidney, and liver channels. Pericardium 6, loo connecting point of the pericardium channel. Do 4, Mingmen, gate of life, located on the lumbar region, on the posterior median line, 
in the depression below the spinous process of the second lumbar vertebra. Functions, tonifies kidney chi and yang, tonifies original chi, nourishes essence, clears heat, strengthens the lumbar region and knees. Do 4 is one of the most effective points to tonify yang and strengthen the constitution. It is especially efficacious if moxa is also used on the point. Needling, oblique insertion upward, 0.5 to 1 soon. Bladder 23, Shen Shu, Kidney Shu. Located on the back, 1.5 soon, lateral to the lower border of the spinous process of the second lumbar vertebra. Back Shu point of the kidney. Strengthens the kidneys, tonifies kidney yang, nourishes kidney yin and essence, strengthens kidney's ability to grasp the chi, benefits the ears and bones, strengthens the low back, resolves dampness. Bladder 23 is one of the most effective points to tonify the kidneys. Back shoe points are corresponding points on the back where the chi of the respective zangfu organ is infused. If the five zang organs are diseased, abnormal reactions appear on the back shoe points. Back shoe points have a direct therapeutic effect on the diseases of the five zang organs. Now let's take a look at the explanation of the points used in flaxseed type. Ren 6, Ren 4, Ren 8 with moxa recapture the yang. Ren 6 and Ren 4 are best used with moxa cones on a slice of aconite, the herb to recapture yang. Moxa cones applied to Ren 8 after filling umbilicus with salt. Stomach 36, Spleen 6, PC 6 strengthen heart yang to relieve collapse of yang. Do 4, Bladder 23 with moxa strengthen the fire of gate of vitality relieve collapse of yen. In some cases, the distinction between tense and flaxseed type may not be clear, or the pattern may change from tense to flaxseed or vice versa. In such cases, do 26, stomach 36, spleen 6, yin tang, and pc6 should be needled with even method to induce resuscitation and extinguish wind. Do 26, crossing point on the do vessel with the large intestine and stomach channels. Spleen 6, crossing point of the spleen, kidney, and liver channels. Stomach 36, he see point of the stomach channel, command point of the abdomen, point of the sea of water and grain. Yin Tang, hall of impression. Located at the forehead, at the midpoint between the two medial ends of the eyebrow. Dispels wind, calms the shen, opens the nose. Needling, subcutaneous insertion, 0.3 to 0.5 soon. PC6, loop connecting point of the pericardium channel. Thank you very much for your attention.